Let's talk about mental math strategies for addition that build fluency. Starting with 16 plus 39, one strategy is to borrow from one add-in to make our other add-in a little friendlier. So here I'll borrow a 1 to make 39 into 40. 40 plus 15 gives me 55. Another strategy is adding left to right. We look in the tens place and see 10 plus 30 equals 40. In the ones place, we have 6 plus 9 equals 15 for a total of 55. This next strategy is adding by parts. We'll start with one number and work our way up adding parts or chunks of the other number. So I'll add 30 to get to 46, 4 to get to 50, and 5 to get to 55. And we can emphasize the commutative property, noting that students could start with either add in here. Okay, let's apply these same strategies to some other kinds of numbers. First, fractions. Five and a fourth plus three and seven eighths. I'm gonna use the strategy of borrowing from one add-in to make the other one a little friendlier. So I'm gonna borrow one eighth here to make this into four. And then I'll need to add five and an eighth plus four to get nine and one eighth. Let's add left to right using decimals. Three and four tenths plus two and seven tenths. First, we look in the ones place and add three plus two to get five. And then in the tenths place, we add four tenths and seven tenths to get one and one tenth. Add those together for a total of six and one tenth. Let's see how adding by parts can help us add integers. We'll start at negative seven. We'll add seven to get to zero. And then we'll add three more to get to a positive three. The visuals really help the strategies to make sense. If students are mixing up addition and subtraction strategies, go back to the visuals and manipulatives and be sure they understand what's going on and they're making sense of the math.